Starch, protein, and natural rubber are natural polymers. The monomer in starch is glucose molecule, and in proteins are amino acids. The monomer in natural rubber is the isoprene molecule. Isoprene molecules are polymerized with the help of Ziegler-Natta catalyst, as shown. The brackets and the letter N shows that the structure is repeated over and over again to form a long chain. Do you know what does latex contain? Latex contains very tiny particles suspended in water. Each rubber particle is made up of many rubber molecules, which is surrounded by a protein membrane. The protein membrane is negatively charged. The negative charge of the protein membrane prevents rubber particles from coming closer to each other. Rubber particles repel each other. In latex, rubber particles move freely in water. Let us do an experiment to check what happens to latex during coagulation. Take a beaker containing latex. Now add acid to beaker. After some time, we can see the latex in the beaker coagulates. Why does this happen so? When weak acid is added to latex, it coagulates. The hydrogen ions released will neutralize the negative charge of the protein membrane. The free-moving rubber particles no longer repel each other. Instead, they collide with each other. The collision of the rubber particles results in breakage of the thin protein membrane. The rubber molecules tend to clump together. Therefore, latex coagulates. Why do latex in box B do not coagulate? Addition of ammonia or alkalis helps to maintain their negative charges. This will keep the rubber particles to repel each other and the latex remains as a suspension. Do you know how natural rubber has to be treated before they can be used to make products like tires? Watch the video showing how to produce vulcanized rubber. Vulcanization of rubber makes rubber more elastic, durable, stronger 
and heat resistant. Latex is a colloid, which is a mixture of rubber particles and water. Each rubber particle is made up of many rubber molecules surrounded by a layer of protein membrane, which is negatively charged. Due to the negatively charged protein membrane, the rubber particles repel with each other, not allowing latex to get coagulated. Latex coagulates when dilute acids are added to it. The hydrogen ions from the acid neutralize the negatively charged protein membrane. The rubber particles collide with each other, causing the membrane to break. The rubber molecules clump together, allowing latex to coagulate. Coagulation can be prevented by adding alkali to latex. Alkali produces hydroxide ions that neutralizes the acid produced. Thus. The rubber particles repel each other, and latex remain as a suspension. Ammonia solution is usually added to latex to prevent it from coagulating. We have learned that vulcanization is a process of hardening rubber by chemically combining it with disulfur monochloride. The sulfur atoms from strong covalent bonds between the isoprene units with carbon atoms. The sulfur atom attacks the carbon double bonds to form C S S C bonds between different carbon chains. These bonds affect the properties of natural rubber. Through vulcanization, rubber becomes more elastic, strong, durable, heat resistant. The presence of sulfur cross links. Between the rubber molecules changes the properties of natural rubber. Products of natural rubber are used in apparels, transportation, construction, medical, and household. These are holding the natural properties of rubber.